What's going on? It is Paintball Duke 22 here, and I'm coming to you with a tutorial today. What we're going to be doing is we are going to be uh, installing Minecraft uh, and tweaking a few settings using MC Patcher and then a batch file uh, because of a common misinformation that people run into. So the first thing that you're going to want to make sure is that you are running. In order for this to work, the whole thing that I'm doing right now, um, you're going to want to make sure that you are running a 64-bit operating system with Windows, uh, is what I'm using. I'm using Windows 7. Um, you can find it on this screen right here. It'll say 64-bit operating system, so that is important. Um, so after you have that, let's go ahead and install Minecraft, and I'll show you an example of what I'm talking about. So. Um, I'm going ahead right here and I am just setting up a new version of Minecraft. I completely uh, removed the uh, .minecraft folder so we should be opening up and installing a fresh Minecraft here. Let's see. Looks like it's thinking about it. There we go. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and log in here off screen. Alright, so here we go. We're updating Minecraft. I'm going to go ahead and switch to a full screen here, just so you can see what I'm talking about pretty easily. I recommend watching this video in 1080p so you can see exactly what I'm doing as I'm doing it. So, you can see here that we are running Minecraft 1.3.1. This is the most recent update for Minecraft. I'm going to go ahead and create a new world here. Uh, it doesn't really matter what we're doing. Um, I'm not going to change any of the settings or anything like that. We're just going to go ahead and create the world. And I'm going to show you an example of what it looks like when you are running Minecraft with just the default settings for uh, memory and stuff like that. So, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to switch here to the F3 mode. I'm going to get rid of that annoying E for inventory thing. Um, so you can see here, uh, up here where it says use the memory, let me open up my inventory again here. Uh, you can see right here it says I have 910 megabits of memory, basically, and this is how much it's currently using and you can see it's up at 35 percent at times while it's generating a world um, well as most of you know when you're trying to uh, generate a texture pack uh, if you want to use like an HD texture pack it doesn't really work very well you can see it's kind of sluggish even with my system the way it is uh, getting everything going generated and I'm getting kind of up there on the used memory so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of here really quick uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use first the MC Patcher right here and what that, uh, those of you who aren't familiar with this program, what it does is it basically enables you to use HD textures, a couple of other things that I'll show you when you open it up. So head on down to the link in the description and download this MC Patcher and it'll help you out. So let's go ahead and once you have it you're going to open it up and run it. and you'll see when it pops up here that uh, it's gonna open up your uh, basically your minecraft bin and I'm just gonna go ahead and deselect all these you can select what it is exactly that you want I'm just gonna do HD textures and HD font really quick now what, if, what a lot of times people will tell you to do when you're running a texture pack that is like a 64x or 128x texture pack they say to increase this Java heap size to two, 2 gigabytes basically which is 1024 times 2 because this is 1 gigabyte so um, they'll tell you to do 2048 or some higher number um, because I have 16 gig of RAM on my system I like doing 4096 for this because that's 4 gigabytes that's plenty I'm not gonna run out of memory um, I'm not going to have to worry about something else using that much memory. Uh, so then what, what a lot of people will do is they'll go in here, they'll patch it, and then when it's done, they're like, sweet, awesome, I am totally running at 
a lot higher uh, memory for this. Uh, everything's going to work just fine. And then they find out that they're still having weird memory issues, weird glitches, um, laggy areas. Uh, this should fix it to where you don't have any laggy areas basically at all. Um, you can also change this to, I recommend if you don't have like more than 6 gig of RAM to only set this to 2048 which is 2 gigabytes which is more than enough. So uh, you can see here if you click test Minecraft it's going to go ahead and open up Minecraft for us again. And it worked because it opened it up and everything like that. So let's go ahead and full screen this and we'll log back into our world. Single player, new world. All right. So we're back in our world. Change the jar a little bit. But let's go ahead and check our settings here. So now you can see we are using like 3 to 6 percent of our memory and we're all the way up at 3640 megabits total. And of the allocated memory we're at 13 percent which is totally 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 awesome which really really helps a lot. So this was in the test Minecraft uh, in the MC Patcher. So what we can do is we can come in here and people will exit out of this and then they'll go in here into Minecraft and think that because MC Patcher is done with everything that the texture packs are gonna work just fine they're gonna have plenty of extra memory and all that kinda of thing but I will show you here right now that isn't actually the case you will actually end up let me go ahead and log in here you are actually going to end up uh, back to the default amount of allocated memory right off the bat uh, because you didn't open it through the MC patcher and I'll go ahead and show you that right here so you can see now I'm right back up at the 910 megabits total 53% uh, of my allocated memory and everything like that so uh, what we're gonna do now uh, we're going to exit out of Minecraft and I'm going to show you a, a way that's relatively easy that you will be able to run Minecraft with those higher settings. Uh, so what you're going to want to do, I usually have my Minecraft uh, folder, I have a folder set up for it for the EXE. You're going to want to probably set up a folder for this also. So what you're going to do, you're going to open up, if you're on Windows, you're going to open up this notepad. It basically is a text document. So what you're going to do is you're going to copy this little file that I have. You'll you'll notice it down in the description. It's it's essentially the same thing. This is the only part that's going to be different. But basically what it's what this is is it's the file path to get to your minecraft.exe, which is this right here, which is how you launch the game. So what you're going to do uh and like I said this is for a 64-bit uh, system. So you want to make sure that you have 64-bit Java as well. Um if you're unfamiliar with how to do that, just do a search in Google for how to install 64-bit Java, and you'll be able to do this. So what we're going to do is you're going to put at echo off, and uh, so you're going to copy and paste this. Just make sure that echo off is on this line, and this next part is on the next line down. Uh, so you're going to put the path to wherever your Java is. This is the default one. You probably won't change it unless you're tech savvy, and if you're tech savvy, you won't need to worry about it. So the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to adjust this number right here, which is XMX, which in basic, um, I mean, basic layman's terms is the maximum amount of memory that you want this program right here to run at. Um, in this instance. So it's just for this one time thing. Um, it's not going to be f anytime you use it, it's just going to be anytime you click on this batch file that we're going to be creating. So what you're going to do is you're going to change this if you want 4 gigabytes dedicated like I recommended before. You only do this if you have at least 6 gigabyte of RAM, um, preferably more than that. 
Uh, otherwise, you're going to want to use the 2048 as well. So like 2048 right here. And that's 2 gigabytes, so you'll have plenty. So the next number is this XMS, and this is the minimum amount that you're going to run it at. Um, a, a lot of times you can use 512 megabytes for this. That's what the little M stands for after it. But we're going to use 1 gigabyte dedicated right at the front. Uh, so it's going to run at, at least a gigabyte just to help out. And then this minus jar is just going to say use Java. And then this right here, like I said, is the file path to where this is. So since mine's on my desktop, in the Minecraft game folder, minecraft.exe, that's the one I want. So then what you're going to do after you have this pretty simple code in here, you're going to go file, save, as. And what you're going to do right here where it says save as type text document, you're going to go ahead and change it to all files. And then right here, we're just going to call this, uh, I already have run Minecraft, so we're just going to say uh, MC for YouTube. And we're going to... Uh, at the end of this, we're going to name it .bat, which is a uh, batch file. So uh, you'll go ahead and save this. And then you'll notice in here we have a new batch file. So what's going to happen when we click this batch file is you're going to see a little window pop up, which is just the C system 32. It's a command. And then we're going to go ahead and close out of that. You can. And it'll open up your Minecraft window. If everything goes well, we'll go ahead and bring this up full screen so you can see. And here, once this goes ahead and decides to load up, you will see that we have much more memory uh, as the allocated memory that we had when we thought we were doing it with MC Patcher. So I'll go ahead and show you that really quick as soon as this loads up. And I'm recording so this is going kind of slow. I'm not really getting that great of frames per second. But you can see now we're back up at the, the high memory. So anytime you play Minecraft it's going to be like it. You're not going to experience all the lag that you might normally experience. And it's just going to be a lot better, a lot more smooth. So I hope that this tutorial helped you guys out. And let me know if there's anything you need me to help you cover. Just remember that if you do try to follow this tutorial and you mess something up, it's not my fault because obviously you did something wrong. Uh, so do it at your own risk. And hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks, guys. Peace.